In this video, we are going to be learning how to install the Burp Suite for completely free on Linux. Now I am using Ubuntu, but the process is similar for any other Linux distribution like Kali Linux or Parrot OS. Before we start the installation process, if you want to watch more content related to tech tutorials, please subscribe to the channel. With that out of the way, let's start the installation process. First open up your browser and go to google.com and type Burp Suite and press enter. Click on the first link. Portswigger.net is the official URL. When you're on this page, scroll down and under Burp Suite Community Edition, click Find Out More. When you're on this page, click on Go Straight to Downloads. Keep the Burp Suite Community Edition selected and keep Linux 64 bit selected and then click on Download and wait for the installer to get downloaded. After the downloading has been completed, I will open my directory where my file got downloaded on. I can confirm this is the bash script that got downloaded into the downloads directory. I will right click on the directory and click on open in terminal. If I type ls, I can confirm this is the file that just got downloaded. I will change the permission of the file with the command chomod space plus x space the name of the file and press enter. Now I will execute the script with the command sudo space dot forward slash the name of the file and press enter. Now our installation process has started. First click on next. I have the option to change the destination folder by clicking on the browse button here and selecting the folder. I will not do anything for now. I will keep it as default and then click on cancel and then click on next. I will also keep this as default and then click on next. And my installation has been completed. I will click on finish and quit everything. Now I will start Burp Suite. First click on show applications and search for Burp Suite. I can see this is the icon of the Burp Suite. So I'll click on it and my Burp Suite has started. I will keep temporary project in memory selected and then click on next. I will keep use Burp default selected and then click on start Burp. And I can see my Burp Suite has started successfully. If you want to know how to connect Burp Suite with the Firefox, please check out the link in the description box. That is for the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching.